Welcome back to 7 News Live at 5. Thousands of people are in the upstate this weekend for several different tournaments. Uh, Greenville County says sports tourism is bringing millions of dollars in economic impact over the next few days. 7 News reporter Laura Thomas, there she is, live at Conesty Park where some of that money is coming in in Greenville County. Hey, Laura. Yeah, hey Gordon, by far this has sort of become the norm for Greenville County to get tournaments like this to come to the upstate. But we talked with the guy who's over sports tourism here in Greenville County, and he tells us this is the biggest weekend so far this year. From the baseball diamond to the swimming pools and the soccer fields, People are traveling from all over the country to the upstate this weekend. Sharon Harvey drove from Greenwood, Mississippi to cheer on her son. We've been as far west as Dallas, and this would be as far east as we've come. But we drive all over. When they say, let's go to a tournament, our whole team says, okay, let's go. Any one of these events would be a big deal, but altogether, the numbers add up. Sports tourism means big business. Jeff Poole, the sports tourism manager for Greenville County Parks, Recreation and Tourism, expects 20,000 people at these events throughout the weekend with a $6.5 million economic impact. When they're not playing games, these people are looking to eat. They're looking to be entertained. They want attractions. They want to see what Greenville County has to offer. The love of the game and the hope of catching the eye of a college scout brought this player and his family from Georgia. Being with your team, being with coaches, you're all striving, you know, to get one goal, winning and playing together. Greenville County says it's the facilities, the convenience, and that something extra that helped this area keep winning. We're quick to share good southern hospitality, so these folks have a good time when they're here and they want to come back. So we are talking about three big tournaments in town. So for all of you out there wanting uh, to make weekend plans, you're going to find it a lot harder to get into restaurants. You're going to find a lot more traffic on the roads. And also anyone who's coming into town is going to find a hard time finding a hotel room here. We are live in Greenville County tonight. Laura Thomas, 7 News. In, in, Laura, in my family, it's volleyball tournaments where we travel the entire <laughs> southeast and stay in hotels. It, there is a massive <laughs> commitment from these families to see every one of these games and to travel and they do travel, don't they? They absolutely do. Anywhere their children are playing, that's where they're going to be. And these people are experts, too, especially at beating the heat out here. It is hot at all these tournaments. We've seen people with portable fans, with tents set up, even uh, the foldable chairs. Some people had rocking chairs out here. I mean, they, ha they were well-equipped and well-prepared for anything they might encounter at these tournaments out here. Well, it's definitely a boon for our area economically. Thank you, Laura. Uh, head out to the ballpark this weekend. The Greenville Drive.